It's again quite sunny, it's freezing cold, it's 5 degrees outside. I'm now on my way to the academy, it's 9 a.m. First lesson is at 10, I have a super busy day of lessons, especially the morning. It's just going to be 1, 2, 3, 5 students in the morning alone. And then a relatively busy afternoon of lessons with 3, 4 more students. So it's a busy day of lessons today. It's like these always make me a little bit stressed. Uh, I think it's just because I want to do well and knowing that uh, there are so many students, so many different angles, so many different ages and levels requires a lot of flexibility from me. Uh, hopefully I will do a good job, I will be uh, zoned in, I will be tuned into my students uh, needs and uh, how they need me to adjust to them so they can achieve exactly what they want to achieve today. That's my goal for today. That's my mission statement for today. What's yours? I wish I was a little bit taller So every time I step into the record store I wouldn't have to holler Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm only 5'6 Got the bricks for the fix to raise me up in it I can see the Whitney records from here They're in my view if you could help me for a second I will always love you She's my girl, oh wait, was that CCR too? And that's the morning shift done I'm gonna go to Tesco to grab me some lunch. Go back up the ladder, I'm about to revive. They call me Proud Mary, got a spell on you. If you heard it through the grapevine, then you know that it's true. It's like this and like that. It's half past 2 p.m. I got one student in there practicing. Uh, my next student is in half an hour, so I'm gonna practice a little bit myself because my hands are freezing. It's so cold outside. It's like three degrees. I'm Portuguese, man. <laughs> And that's it guys, I'm done here at the academy, it's 5.20pm, it was a long day. Louis is quite poorly, Catherine and Louis have been in Scotland all week, but uh, apparently he's not been well. They are coming today back to Leeds, so I'm gonna pick them up at the train station at 8 o'clock. To be honest, it was good to have a little bit of peace of mind and quiet, but not only I miss them, but I'm starting to feel a little bit um, depressed. Life of insanity, reality shook. So many things humanity took. Blood on the panicking and panicking crook. Pulling on my hair can damage these roots. It's um, 8 o'clock. Train gets to Leeds at 40 past 8. That's 8.40 p.m. So I'm gonna go down now. I can't wait to see them. I, I really feel deflated today. I don't, I don't feel like ranting, I don't feel like lecturing anyone, I don't feel like talking about anything. Sorry guys, today is gonna be boring and lame and very family oriented. Before rhythm there was just the blues In a time where soul was better than shoes Before Sam Cooke met the front page news And way before Smokey just wanted to cruise Fast time and old just sang about Heather Magic being made over at Chess Records Al Green just wanna stay together And my boy Rob John sold his soul to the devil forever Family's back. Louis seemed pretty happy to see me, but uh, he is indeed quite poorly. He's got a cold and a bit of an ear infection. What are you gonna do? By the way, you remember what I told you guys yesterday or two days ago about that uh, holiday where people just go crazy with fireworks? Listen. It's mental. Right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's freezing.
Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and it's workshop day. Uh, today we start a new month of workshops, it's going to be stick control month. I'm going to be today talking about the two sides of this stick control coin. One, the execution of notes and the other one, the setup of said execution. So we're going to talk, be talking about playing and preparing yourself to play really excited about that also getting closer and closer to uh, welcoming Ugo Danin back at the Lisram Academy that's gonna be uh, November 15th so if you guys want to come just uh, send us an email at uh, admin at leadsdrumacademy.com Time to teach. Let's do this. Terry balls you. What an absolute genius. I've just finished today's workshop. The guys just left. It's now 10 past 1. Um, it went really well. Nice and smooth. Now it's uh, time to go grab some lunch and then uh, a busy afternoon of lessons ahead of me. At least four, five more students today. Um, let's do this. There's a lot of traffic today. I don't know why doesn't make much sense, it's Sunday, maybe there's a football match, I don't know, but I want to be right there, just right there, just there, and I can't get there because there's all these cars in front of me, it's quite annoying, I have one hour and 15 minutes to go and get uh, some stuff that I need for the academy and grab lunch and then I gotta go back to teaching so these cars better move yeah I had to give up and turn around and go back to the academy I don't have time for this nonsense I don't even understand why I don't even understand why there's so much traffic on a Sunday Why shouldn't people be at work? No, just me Fair enough then Chronically model T investigator Talking from the trenches bench I smell you later With the cool cats means it's green Fuck the haters This is Q-U-A-T Rhymes take the tater It's the L-A-M-B in me Sees these beats like CDs in late 93 I speak so breezy and red windy city And I hit they like techno stop and make it easy Sometimes I let this kick speak for me Get and carry the way With the temporary It's 7.26 p.m. I finished teaching one hour ago I went to pick up the family because uh, uh, Catherine had to go with Louis to the pharmacy and the doctor etc so I had to run to pick them up and I'm going back to the academy um, to get more stuff done and to, to get my stuff because I left everything there um, so the day is, is long by now I started working this morning before 8 a.m. roughly 7.45 a.m. Uh, so it's now 7.26 p.m. That's almost 12 hours uh, later. I feel good though. Of a good thing. Huh. This is still filming. <laughs> anyway, 
Let's grab my stuff and go home. I miss my son. All right, let's go back. I, first of all, I think I need to address the fact uh, that I did not post a vlog yesterday and uh, now you guys are like, eh, we didn't even notice. But I did. So this is something that I've committed to do and that's what I want to talk about. Commitment. I committed myself to post one vlog every day. And when I can't do that because of either work or family or whatever, because editing the videos takes a lot of time, I feel like I let myself down. As I, to be completely honest with you guys, I've been feeling that quite often lately, that I'm letting myself down. For a variety of reasons that I can't really share with you right now, like totally, one of them being how I sometimes seem to struggle to, to manage my time, I should say, properly. For example, when I fail to post a vlog, I let myself down. When I fail to help a student, I let myself down and of course the student. When I fail to give my very best to every single student, regardless of what time of the day it is, how tired I am, uh, how many problems I have at home, for example, uh, by the way, family is doing great, it's just, Louis has been poorly for a while now, and that's concerning me, and that's, uh, I'm worried, and I'm, you know, that's uh, fatherhood, you're worried all the time. So all those things affect my, not only my mood, but, but mainly my time management, and I want to apologize to you guys, because I might fail at this commitment thing. I might fail because I'm human and I'm flawed and uh, I don't want to fail because I feel like I'm letting myself down and I'm letting whoever counts on me down. That being my family or whoever watches these vlogs or my students or my coaching clients. Here's what, what's happening lately. I have more students than ever, literally more students than ever before in my life. I've been teaching for uh, a decade now and I've never had so many students, ever. Number two, I'm writing a new book. I can tell you exactly how many pages I've written so far. One, refer back to point number one, I've never had so many students in my life. So uh, it's been it's been it's been difficult to to manage those two writing the book, but I'm writing the book. I've been writing uh, at least twice a week. I sit down to write. Three, I've never had so many coaching clients in my life. So I have a lot of clients uh, that I deal with via Skype. Number four, I've never had the sun before. So that uh, doesn't take a lot of my time because, uh, you know, that's the, the deal we have at home. Um, but I want to be with him. It's not like I have to. I know I have to, but I want to. And that weighs a lot more, you know, on me. I just feel it more because I want to. It's not an obligation. It's something that I want to do. Number five. There's going to be a massive change in my life and my family's life uh, within the next year or two. That means that preparation for a massive change starts now. For example, I can uh, tell you that from next year I'm going to be traveling a lot more. So, that's uh, another one. It's going to be interesting to see how I'm going to manage an all-time record of uh, number of students per week plus an all-time record of number of coaching clients per week plus writing books plus I want to start writing articles for magazines and stuff um, so I gotta also make time to sit down and uh, write plus I want to keep on posting daily vlogs or man at least with the as much frequency as I can yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys an update and at the same time an apology for failing yesterday. Once again, not that you guys even noticed, but uh, I let myself down. There you go. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope.